I'm ready to talk Kia EVs and Earth Day. Uh, all right, Neil, but uh, why are you outside? Well, I've heard that nature is really great for us. It can improve your mood, increase creativity, and prolong your life expectancy. Those are all good things. And I believe that Nikolai Tesla had his inspiration for the electric motor in a park. So this makes outside a great place to hang out and a great place to talk EVs. Hmm. That makes makes good sense, Neil. All right, uh, let, let's do it. I've been hearing a lot about this Plan S. Sounds really cool, almost clandestine. What is it? And what can you tell us about it? Well, uh, I'm glad you asked, Neil. You know, uh, Plan S is Kia's incredibly important and ambitious long-range electric vehicle and electrification plan. Um, it's a $25 billion investment into an electrified future uh, and, and, and new mobility uh, ventures for the company. Plan S is a preemptive shift. Uh, it's from being a traditional a car company or a manufacturer of cars that are primarily internal combustion into one that's focused on electric vehicles, electrified vehicles, and uh, new mobility solutions. So under Plan S, there's 11 new Kia EVs due by 2025. How many of those are going to be coming to the U.S.? And will they all be battery electric? Or will some be hybrids or plug-ins? Uh, that's a really, really important question, Neil. Uh, you know, we're not really ready in, to announce all the details of Plan S product strategies, but, um, you know, it starts with uh, a new dedicated, Kia's first dedicated EV uh, at the end of 2021 uh, for the United States. It might be earlier in uh, other other markets around the world. But Kia will establish a, a full EV lineup by 2025 um, with 11 vehicles adding new EV models to its whole lineup along the way, including passenger cars, SUVs, MPVs, uh, sedans, crossovers. There's going to be a wide variety of electric vehicles in our, in our lineup. As I understand it, Steve, another part of the plan is for Kia to sell 500,000 EVs worldwide by 2025. That's 6.6% .6 of the market. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's other manufacturers making EVs. Is this plan maybe a little ambitious? Uh, you know, Kia, the, the plan is ambitious. 6.6% um, share of a global EV market implies a market volume globally of about 7.4 million units. So by 2025, uh, the math seems to add up. It's, it's not... Um, it's not crazy, but uh, it is ambitious. But you know what's going to be required to get there is uh, you know superior product execution. So we're we're confident. We have many of the the best engineers in the world working on Plan S products. So uh, Kia's EV products will be better than the already world class Nero EV and Soul EV. And you know one of the things that we know when we talk to customers. Um, about EVs is, is broadly speaking, they're very, very happy and satisfied customers. And in general, they're never going back to internal combustion. It's, it's, uh, it's going to be remarkable what happens to the Kia uh, product lineup with the technology advancements and the platform developments and, and some of the things that are coming. I've heard there's a new, totally dedicated EV coming to the U.S at the end of this year. What can you tell me about it? I'm super excited. Well, Neil, uh, I know you you really like the Habanero, um, and some have speculated that, uh, you know, maybe one of our cars would look like the Imagine concept. Uh, we're really proud of, of both of those concepts. And, you know, it, it shows Kia's um, design excellence and innovation. What I can tell you at this time uh, about our, our new dedicated EV is that it's due at the end of 2021 in the United States. Uh, it's a crossover design that really blurs the boundaries between passenger cars, CUVs, crossovers. Um, it's a little bit car, it's a little bit crossover. Um, it'll have about a 300 mile range for the United States and sub 20 minute high speed recharge times on high speed chargers, of course. In the end, it'll be a very stunning 
dramatic new Kia EV, something that you, you've never seen before. It's going to be built on an all-new dedicated EV platform, uh, which is very important because since it is dedicated to EVs, there's, there's no internal combustion variant, uh, it allows a lot of different uh, improvements and changes in the packaging of the car and the componentry, which impacts uh, interior space, design, the proportions, the aesthetic, uh, and of course, performance. So we're really excited about um, all of the aspects of this car. We look forward to telling the world more about it when we're ready. I heard it's spectacular, better than the Soul EV, and that just won Urban Car of the Year. Uh, well, you know, it, it's going to be hard to to beat the Soul EV, uh, which unfortunately we don't have here in the United States, but we do have the Neuro EV, which is uh, a multi-award winner in its own right. But uh, our new Kia EV, uh, it's going to be a major, exam uh, major advancement in um, Kia's EV offerings. Uh, you'll be very, very impressed. And I think it's really going to change how people view Kia, uh, their image of Kia. And it's just a little taste, it's a little teaser, uh, ultimately, of what's to come for the brand. Well, that's it for me, Steve. I think I'm just going to lie down here and do some tree bathing. Ah, uh, Neil, well, it uh, looks, like, looks like it's uh, poison ivy, my friend. Take care out there.